After announcing voting just two weeks ago, with fighting still ongoing, these residents of regions now taken over by Russia have found themselves trapped on the other side. They want to return home from territory controlled by Ukraine to territory controlled by Russia, but they say Ukrainian authorities won't let them, citing safety concerns. Under laws signed off in Moscow, Russia automatically considers them citizens. The Kremlin says it's recognizing the whole of the Donetsk and Luhansk regions as Russian, while only parts of Kherson and Zaporizhia. But there's no map that can be found that shows which parts. The Kremlin says it's responsible for all the territory that the armed forces controlled at the end of September when President Putin signed the decree. But already Ukraine's armed forces have taken back some of that territory. The Kremlin says it's Russian territory that will eventually be retaken. Russia has always said what it calls a special military operation is neither a war nor an occupation. By the end of 2022, Moscow says the regions that have been taken over will be using the Russian ruble, and Russian vehicle registration plates have been assigned. But these people are caught up in the changes on the ground. Stuart Smith, CGTN, Moscow.